Hello guys, today I want to quickly tell you about two ways how to implement custom validation rules in Laravel. For example, you have a registration form and you have some specific validation rule that you want to implement. First typical way is to run PHP artisan make rule, create that rule and inside provide the conditions. By the way, this new syntax called invocable rule, if you want to use that, that is optional. You can take a look at my other recent video about Laravel 918 invocable rule, which is shorter way to use invoke function instead of separating that into messages separate method. So we have this condition. So if the email is example.com, we don't allow registration. But did you know that you can implement custom validation rule without creating a separate class? You can do just inline do function, which should have three attributes, the same attributes actually I will copy and paste as invocable class. So attribute value and what to do if it fails. And then inside you do if statement and then call fail if something goes wrong. So I just copy and paste from the invocable rule like this. And then you would have kind of inline validation rule instead of email domains rule as a separate class. So you wouldn't need a separate class. So if someone reads your code in the future, or maybe yourself in the future, you wouldn't need to click elsewhere to check that validation rule. Instead, it would read in line. Some people would say it's longer code, but from another point of view, it's readable in line without navigating to external files. So if we open that registration form, and if I go and fill in example.com domain, the validation error would be email cannot contain example.com. That's by the way, based on Laravel breeze. So it shows validation errors in this way. But I just wanted to show you that you can specify custom validation just in line if that validation rule isn't among those default Laravel rules, but you don't want to create separate validation class. What do you personally prefer? How you deal with custom validation rules? Share your experience in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to get daily videos and daily Laravel tips like this one. See you guys in other videos.